Okay, this is hand feeding a baby morning dove. <clears throat> My sister had found two of these outside in different places on the ground. I already pre-mixed formula in anticipation for this feeding. I will take the oldest one out. His name's Jack. We got Jack and Diane here. This is Jack. He's doing pretty well. Now I've seen a lot of videos already that the people didn't know what they were doing. I know they were trying, but in return they killed the bird. So if you don't know what you're doing, please research a hundred times over before you try this at home. I'll try to get a little closer so you can see it a little better. Okay. Well, what I do, I've fed 10 to 15 baby doves already. I set them on my knee like so. I get a hold of them a little bit. Go like this. Till they open up, they give me an open sign. And what the thing is with this is you don't want to rush it. The last thing you want to do is hurt something you're trying to help. Come on. And you can't get frustrated, but just be prepared to take your time with this. Because after all, these little babies need your help <clears throat> come on open up Jack sometimes it takes them a while to open and that's okay <clears throat> there you go see nice and big and you feed them like that and stop so they can swallow what they just what you just put in their mouth Got a little, a little accident there. Pick that up. So, you see how he just ate that and opened his mouth really wide for me? See? Let's do it again. Come on. Open up. Open up, Jack. Come on. Oh, you're turning the wrong way there, bud. Come on. Come on. I know you're hungry. Come on. Come on. Open up, boy. Come on. Oh, you almost had it, huh? Come on. <clears throat> can we get a little closer here for you so you can see better? Okay, open up. And I'm doing this very, very gently. I'm doing this with the least amount of pressure as possible. Because, as you can see, how tiny it is compared to myself. Okay, come on, Jack. Let's go. It's eating time. You hungry? I know you're hungry. Come on. Come on. Some other people prefer different methods of feeding. Some people prefer the method of using a a plunger type thing. Um, some people use eyedroppers. Myself, I like these because this is more controlled. I can push in and push out what I need and it's not like running, I'm not shooting anything down his throat too fast. And he usually just opens up for me when he's ready. And I put some in his mouth and he swallows it. And then I stop to let give him a chance to take a breath. I don't know if you ever try to eat food, <clears throat> and if you can't swallow while you're eating, you're going to choke. Well, these guys drowned. <clears throat> these guys will drown in their own, in the food. Come on. Come on, Jack. There you go. Come on, Jack. Open up. Nice and big. <clears throat> Open up big. Come on. Come on. There you go. And 
I give them a chance to swallow and everything like that. I've done this a lot though. This this might look like I'm making it easy if you're a first time novice at this. This is not going to be this fast. It could take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes per feeding per bird. I'm experienced at doing this. I've done it several times already. And in no way in shape or form think that, you know, it should ever go this fast if you're new at it. Because it doesn't. It goes relatively slow if you're new at it. <clears throat> okay, Jack, come on. You hungry? There you go. Hungry? Come on. Come on. There you go. And as long as they're doing that, that little bouncing motion, that rhythmic motion, that means they're swallowing all that food. <clears throat> this video isn't about myself, it's about the morning dove. So that's why I opted to edit my head out of this video. Gotta open up, bud. Come on. Come on. See, he's flicking his wing. That means he's like ready for some more. He's like flipping his wing. Come on. You hear the peeping? I don't know if you can on this. Come on. It's like a little weeping noise. Weep, weep, weep. Come on. Gotta open up there. <clears throat> you ready for some more, huh? Some more? Yeah, I know. Come on. Gotta open up. And then you give them another minute to go ahead and get all that food down and swallow. And his, his crop has gotten nice full by now. <clears throat> I'll put him away. And I got to get out Jill. This is a younger one and she's smaller. And she's younger, so so this one is even slower yet Woo. for me. Let's get you some more food. And I suck up the food like so. Suck it up into this syringe. Shake off the excess. And then we proceed, proceed to feed like we just did Jack. But since she's younger, it's going to take a little longer for her. <clears throat> she's not in tune yet like Jack is. This is her second day. Where are you going? And she's more interested in running right now. Come on, Jill. Come on, Jill. And as a note, <clears throat> these birds are wild and they can re be re uh, returned to the wild. And when these guys get old enough, that's where they'll be going is into the wild. I am not keep keeping them. These are wild animals. And uh, I try to handle them as minimal as possible. I want them to have that instinctive fear of people without me. Uh, hold on. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> you gotta open your mouth, there, girl. You gotta open your mouth. Come on. She's still getting the hang of this. <clears throat> Come on. Looks like I'm running out of time here.